Okay, so I absolutely have to watch this today, apparently. I'm not allowed to, to literally get off my computer and spend time with my family without watching this Montoya video because you guys are obsessed with me watching Montoya videos for some reason. Star Citizen record, record funding despite calls for boycott. Uh, this is actually a very um, important thing to note that, at least from this title... That Montoya is going to point out here. Very, very, very important thing to note. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I trust you had a wonderful weekend. It is Tuesday, February the 15th. I want to go back and check on how uh, the alleged or attempted boycott <laughs> of star citizenship sales went. I don't think I even need to tell you how it went. Uh, if you've followed the numbers, if you haven't, uh, stick around. I'm going to show you what happened with the recent sale of the Hover Quad, which was a $20 or $25 bike, depending on if you got your coupon or not. So let me first just recap a little bit if you're new to Star Citizen and this channel. There was a bit of controversy a couple of weeks ago when CIG said they're removing items from the roadmap which are too far out. Stuff which was three, six, nine months out. Mm -hmm. uh, they're basically saying that this is tentative and we may put things out and then remove it. And what happens is a lot of passionate backers get loud and complain and CIG goes we don't want to cause this undue stress upon you anymore so we're just not going to show you stuff which is nine months out which we cannot guarantee I understand it but the way they worded their message was kind of uh, not the best and the community got really pissed Yep. And there was a lot of community backlash. Now, a lot of posts went up on Spectrum and Reddit. This is Spectrum here. And Lars wrote, when the Hover Quad goes on sale, please remember, the only feedback that will impact future sales is the one you do with your wallet. Let's boycott the sales so CIG realizes that we, the backers, are the ones with the power. Sounds right. I There's no argument there. If you don't back the game then maybe they'll listen to your voice a bit more. So the question- Very capitalist of Lars. I, I think that that actually happened with the uh, Cutlass Steel. I think that that really happened with the Cutlass Steel. We went, this ship is stupid. Nobody wants it. And I don't think a lot of people purchased it. I think it did really poorly. I think it did much more poorly than the Hover Quad did. Um, but I don't think what Lars is trying to do here makes any sense either because you cannot hold this game accountable in any way. You can't even create a situation where you could boycott ship sales because nobody, there are way few, fewer people watching somebody like a, a Spectrum or a YouTube video than are actually following the project. Most people are just doing their own thing. They don't need anybody else to tell them how to think or feel. They have their own opinions. They 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 don't watch YouTube videos to create any opinions. They just have their own. And most of these people are just buying the stuff that they want to buy and doing what they want to do. So the idea of boycotting them is, is an individual choice, but it's not a choice that I don't think you can create to 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 light any fire under Cloud Imperium's ass to like get them to be better. They know they don't have to be better. They are, as long as they don't go crazy and overspend or something like that, they're they're going to be fine. If they don't, you know, go too crazy with the new studio or whatever and, and the sales kind of stay the same, they, they can just keep going and the status quo can continue. And they can keep being really bad at some things and really good at others, like making stuff look cool. But, yeah. question is... Was this simply a loud minority complaining or can this actually make a dent? So I'm not going to read through the whole post, but basically saying like he's not a hater. He's in the 4,000 bucks. He loves the project, has no regrets. Uh, I'm he's not, not a hater. I spent so much money on the game. He is. He wants CIG to prosper. We all do. But he's saying that uh, let's show them when they put up a ship for sale. Don't buy it. They will teach them. We're going to hurt them because they hurt our feelings too, all right? <laughs> the same thing was said on Reddit by uh, The King Stranger. 1,200 upvotes, uh, a big post. Uh, the Hover Quad goes on sale soon. If you're not happy with CIG, then do yourself a favor and do not buy more spaceships. 
Uh, easy say, I, I don't see a problem with that. No problem about it at all. So he goes on to say how he does love the game. Everything is cool. The hover court goes on sale soon. If you do not like how CIG is doing business, then for the love of God, do not buy the dang hover quad. Bro, okay. this is like such like a Twitter cancel mentality. Like this, this stuff doesn't work. This stuff is stupid. This is what's wrong with the world. You just do whatever you do. Do whatever the fuck you do. But you cannot, like, canceling and then, like, trying to do this stuff and, like, thinking that you have any sort of power to make a difference is so idiotic. Like, even somebody like Montoya, myself, Board Gamer, Morphologist, which is probably the biggest one and has the most pull out of anyone in the community, can not make a dent in the ship sales. Why are you even trying? Like, it, it's it's insane, you know? And, and somebody in chat just said, when the upvotes hit 20k, 50k, then it'll work. No, because if the upvotes hit 20k and 50k, there's probably even more people that are not interested in taking part in the extremely polarizing uh, star citizen community, right? You either are a super white knight or you are a uh, salty person like me, I guess. Like there's there's like two sides and everybody in the middle is the ones who are buying the stuff and they're not listening to the noise that both sides are making. Uh, so it, it just doesn't matter. And I think, I think Montoya is gonna get to this is like these efforts make no sense and you can only do, you can only boycott your, like just as the individual. If you don't want to buy ships anymore, that's your prerogative. If you don't like what CIG is doing, like don't watch their videos, don't watch the creators, don't buy any more ships and just go away. And, and that is that honestly, if more and more people do that, then then CIG will start to notice. The thing is, is that's not what's happening, right? That's not what's happening. They're getting more and more and more funding. People aren't going away. More people are coming in. It, it, it's, okay. it's insane. Do not buy any other ship for that matter. Makes perfect sense. Stop subscribing for digital garbage. Okay. Holy shite, people. Vote with your wallet. Come on. Fair enough. So I'm curious to know, is this just a loud vocal minority yes. or do most Unfortunately, people agree yes. with this? Though obviously 1,200 upvotes, a lot of people agree, but how much of a dent can this make in sales? So listen, I made a video where I was pretty salty about what happened in the game. A lot of people were surprised that, oh, Montoya's angry, it must be bad. Listen, let me explain something to you guys, because I, I guess this isn't very obvious, but when you create content, the type of content you create uh, caters to a certain demographic. Not only is it that demographic, but there's people I want to hang out with, because people watch my videos, people come to my Discord, mm -hmm. and we hang out. The, I'm in Discord every single day, there's people I surround myself with, and the people I surround myself with in Discord, many I've met in real life, they are people that I want to hang out with in real life. So if you are just very salty and very angry about the 100 bucks you back Star Citizen with in 2013, and to this day you cannot let it go that you made a horrible mistake back in high school when you put 100 bucks in and now you're a doctor buying your third house and on your fourth wife and you lose sleep every night because of the 100 bucks that you backed with, you're just too salty, man. Like, I, I cannot surround myself with people who just complain and bitch 24-7. It drives me nuts, and it's bad for your mental health, too. So the con... Well, I mean, I can't... I mean, and on the same tone, I can't listen to people who are constantly defending something that's indefensible, right? So, and Montoya doesn't. Montoya very much, I think, has his opinions and just feels the way he does. So, like, when I say that comment, that comment isn't directed at Montoya at all. But, like, I get what he's saying. You just surround your people who you want to surround your people with. But I don't know what point he's trying to make here. Content I put out is positive, not because I'm blind to what's happening. It's because how I choose to react to it may differ from other people. But more importantly for me, the kind of audience I want, the interaction I want, are people that are positive about the game, are people that want the game to succeed. And, yes, we may get angry at times. But this does not mean that we have to cry and complain for days and weeks on end. So I was pretty pissed. Honestly, I agree with this fucking statement. <laughs> like, like I, I feel exactly the way he does is like the amount of 
insanity that was around the roadmap thing, like, I don't want to be surrounded by that either because I don't think there's, like, logic behind it. I think if we're going to really get up in arms and really get mad about things, it should be about what's on our client and how, why is the game so poor now? How, like, what can we do? How can we motivate them to make that aspect better? I don't like the idea of uh, catering your opinions and views around who you want to surround yourself with. Um, in a way, I think I, I'm fully like just my mentality and maybe it's the the a bad thing is to I just don't have a filter. I say exactly what's on my mind in the moment at that moment. Uh, one of the few times that I don't and I really think about my thoughts and, and put them down is really the only time I ever do that is for the weekend review videos. Every other time is exactly what I think in that moment. And I don't think it's healthy either, or I don't think it's honest necessarily to uh, create a certain persona because that's what you think is the right thing to do. But I also don't, that's just how I feel about creating content. <clears throat> but I don't think there's anything wrong with what Montoya is doing at all. And I basically agree almost 100% with what he's saying is I, I just like what has been happening over the last couple of weeks with, with the community is kind of exhausting to be around. And yeah, I mean, this is even more on top of that. Uh, that is just like, Jesus, guys, come on. Like, spend your energy in the right places. Spend your energy in the right places. The game, the actual game. But that's, again, that's just how I feel. But that doesn't mean I'm not buying myself an LTI token, all right? <laughs> so I was going to buy one as an LTI token so I can upgrade some ship when something comes along I don't like. But then this comes along. And this is exactly what I said in a previous video about Luminalia, I said they should give everyone a coupon for the Hover Quad. And what do you know? Hover Quad. Here you go. Five bucks off the Hover Quad. Enjoy. Here's your Thank code. Thank you, Montoya. So I got it. Actually, I bought one before this came out. And when this came out, I go, you know what? I'm buying a second one. So yeah, I know this is very confusing. But you can be angry at Star Citizen. And you can still buy stuff that you want. More so if you're an adult who is responsible and has disposable income, do what the hell you like. Now, if you have a gambling problem or if you have impulse control problems, then yes, people can criticize you. But if you are an adult with disposable income... People can criticize you. I mean, I, I guess you should tell them that they need to get help, but I don't think you should criticize people with gambling problems. And I don't think you should criticize people with impulse control problems because... That could cause even more problems, Montoya. I think that that's a fucking bad take if you, t if you ask me. Holy crap. Do what the hell you want and no one can tell you otherwise, all right? Uh, I, I take my family out for sushi on the weekend. That's 100 bucks easy. Dropping 50 bucks for these little ships, honestly, not a big deal. Now, there were times in my life where 50 bucks was a lot of money. But you cannot tell people, and I hate seeing people bitching, going, no, don't spend your money. Do what the hell you want, man. Yeah, do it's whatever you want. It's your money. Yeah. If you decide you want to buy a bike or a ship, whatever it is, go ahead and do it. And if people are upset about CIG and they don't, they think they can tell you what to do with your money, then, yeah. you know, maybe that's a problem. Look, there's nothing wrong. You can always do what you want with your money, but if you're showing off your fleet on Reddit, I, I also get to laugh at you, okay? I'm not telling you not to buy them, but I also think that shit is absolutely hilarious, okay? I can point and laugh, too. So that that should you know the that, argument. you're fair you're game if you spent five thousand dollars on a so game. How did that pan and out? are showing off your fleet. Well, let's see. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is where this is where the point of the video is, and I think this is where um, this is where we really need to understand what Star Citizen is, and where we the backers. And, and more we, the very attentive, passionate backers are. We're the minority. We're the minority. More, most people are just hanging out, buying a few ships, seeing what happens, and, and that's it. The really, really, the really, really, like, super, super white knights, minority. The really, really passionate people who are, like, really not happy with what's going on right now, 
the minority. This huge majority is in the middle who's just like, I check out the game every once in a while. Oh, that ship looks cool. 50 bucks. I got 50 bucks. Who cares? Right? And that person, unfortunately, is the one that is continuing the cycle that the people who are on the like, man, I'm really not happy with the current state of the game. Don't like, you know, the, they, they're the lack of accountability. All those things exist because of the majority that is not listening to you on spectrum is not watching Montoya videos is not watching salty Mike videos. They're just doing whatever the hell they want to do. And that's fine. And that, like, you just have to accept the the situation you're in and only do what you can based on the situation you're in and for me based on the situation i'm in i can do the only thing i feel i can do is give as much feedback as i can on what's on our client and how to make it more fun and that's all i care about and that's all i think i can do and that's why i don't care about the roadmap noise i don't care about any of that stuff because it doesn't matter because you can't do anything about it so there's actually quite a bit to talk about on this chart. First of all, uh, the slowest two months, okay, the, basically we're looking at weeks here. Week one, two, three, four, that's January. Five and six, the first two weeks of February. So week three and four, the last two weeks of January, brought in $1.2 million. That is insane. Also, this past January was the biggest January on record for funding. Yep. Uh, let's go forward to February now. As the sale began, and the only thing that was happening was Jump Town, nothing else. There was legitimately nothing major put into the game. It was actually one of the biggest delays they've ever had. Again, two million dollars, and the following week, which was last week, two point five million dollars. So for the month of February. For half the month of February, where we are right now, $4.5 million so far. That is nuts. So where yeah. is this money coming from? I've seen some people saying, oh, it's the whales you, buying. But listen, no, I guarantee a lot of people backers. did abide and stick to the boycott. A lot of people agreed with us. So yeah, I absolutely agree. 100% uh, agree. Yeah, Facepalm, some didn't. I absolutely agree, right? 1,000 turn up votes. People There's agree. There's a poop emoji there. But too, how many people Montoya. actually stuck to it? I know. I, well, I showed you. I bought because of the coupon. Uh, and obviously, $4.5 million worth of sales. But to be fair, it's not only the quad. There was also the Skins. Aries Ion. There was also the, um, there was the Nomad. We sold in some packs. So uh, this isn't all just because of the quad. There are also other ships in there. But the point here is that even if the whales are not buying, and even if the old backers are boycotting and not buying, there is a very, very large influx of new people coming yes. to the game. And I see it personally from people joining my org who are fresh, who are just joining Star Citizen now, who just joined the last couple of months, who just joined last week, and they absolutely love the game. They're jumping in. There's events. They are playing. They are mining. Yeah, and the first thing you do when you love the game is is you look at how to get newer and better experiences, and the fastest way to do that, buy ships. There was Jump Town, there was Xeno Threat. They are having the time of their life, and they are backing it with their money also. I don't know how much of this money is fresh money, but I, I strongly suspect a large chunk of this is new backers who've arrived over the so past six months. And with a new free fly event coming soon, there's going to be even more people coming in. Yep. So this is both good and bad. It's good because CIG can continue operations. It's bad because there's really nothing that this vocal minority of angry backers when something happens can do because we can boycott all we like. Uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> yeah, so, so like it, it even sounds like... Um... Montoya kind of agrees with the boycott idea in a way with what he said because he said we, um, yeah, like you 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 the accountability is not there. That was like the theme of everything that I said is that there's no that there's no accountability. You cannot make a YouTube video and try and hold these people accountable from the funding perspective, from the communication perspective. They could do whatever they want, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. And this is a ball of snow rolling down a mountain and it is just picking up more and more and more snow. Um, I wish the development uh, mirrored that. But 
the, the development is the opposite. It's just like a puddle of water sitting at the top of the mountain doing nothing, barely moving. You know, we're just in like hover mode waiting for something to happen. Um, but yeah, one day soon, maybe. So strange situation where old backers might be upset and boycott, but there's a whole influx of new backers coming in supporting the game because they absolutely love it. So uh, that's where we stand on that. So I, I think it's safe to say the boycott didn't do anything at all. Uh, I'm enjoying my new quads. Thank you very much. And uh, $4.5 million for the first two weeks of February. It's going to be massive. And the free flight event coming up. And there's the event in uh, May. Uh, is it the International Aerospace, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo? Or that is it May Invictus? or March? Uh, so, yeah, it looks like it's March. just from these first couple of weeks of uh, 2022 that this may be a big year yet again, thanks to a lot of new influx. Uh, let's yep. wrap it up there, ladies and gents. Let me know your thoughts. Did you buy a quad? Did you stick to the boycott? Nope. Post below. If you enjoy my content, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your comments below. And subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Thank you, Montoya. I appreciate that. I, I stuck I stuck to my boycott. There's a there's a ship skin, not a ship skin, there's a armor skin that I want so bad, but now it's actually part of the referral program, so maybe I get lucky and get one. Um but yeah, I just uh I just don't feel like buying ships anymore. It's not really about the roadmap or anything. I've been on my own little uh not buying ships thing for quite some time now, but uh yeah, in general I just I think what I've said is is what I is what I feel, and I, I think most of what Montoya says there is really right. I just thought that the one uh, criticize them comment was really off putting because you know I live with people that have uh, mental health things that are going on, and and uh, you know I've been around it a lot, and it's just I I think that mentality is pretty pretty toxic. But other than that, uh, yeah, I think Montoya is on on point, and I think we're we're really on the same page there with that. That's what's going on here is you can't do anything. These people are coming out of the woodworks and are, and the game is appealing to more and more people, uh, whether it's for, you know, day in, day out, hardcore players, which is what I would like to eventually be in the game at some point. No, but there's a lot of people who are casually playing the game and finding it fun. And they're putting a lot of money into it now. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a whole new group of not only backers but content creators like you know like let's say like a year from now i think you're gonna see a, a lot of new faces in the in the star citizen content creation community i'm already seeing some of them start to come up and yeah we'll see so that'll do it guys thanks for watching and 